everyone, welcome to a new video. We are, I feel like I just made a summoning autumn video. Uh, we're making a welcome winter vi uh, video. And um, it's a beautiful day. It is golden hour. I just walked to the Han River. Seoul is currently on um, kind of an escalating, not super great trajectory. Um, and so we're all trying to stay just as close to home as possible. So I have been walking a ton, um, trying to go places that only use um, my feet, I suppose, or my scooter. Um, and so I just walked down here. I was hoping to go to Hanul Kongwan Sky Park, but that's quite far from my home. So luckily I just walked over here and we still got the grasses, which I love in winter. This is called Okse, I think, the grass. And then there's like, I don't know what it is in Korean, but the muli grass or whatever. Um, so yes, this is just right by the Han River and I don't think they'll cut these. I don't know, I'm not gonna make any promises, but if you wanna come down, if you're in walking distance to the Han River, come along. It is gorgeous. I mean, it's just a little ridiculous how pretty it is. And I just caught a big, I almost said herd, a big swarm, a big group of birds. Um, that were migrating, really cool. Um, it's an amazing temperature, it's been so nice lately. I've been taking morning walks, which I will talk about more in another vlog, um, but it's just been, I mean, fingers crossed, it's been a really nice start to the season. We had a beautiful autumn, really hoping for a good winter. Like I've been saying, there's rumors that it's gonna be a bad one because we can't have any good things um, but hopefully not. Hopefully this will continue and it will be absolutely beautiful and there is a helicopter. So I'm gonna stop talking and start walking. Let's take a tour. <laughs> freaks me out. There are giant white caterpillars everywhere and I just don't like them. Don't like you. Sorry. They look actually like a space shuttle. Am I wrong? All right. There they all are. I'm leaving you behind. Let's go. So I don't know if you guys remember my summer content, but I spent most of my summer reading beneath that very tree and it is usually so green and lush but here it is and the only thing that comes to mind is the one direction song so, fast so if you would like 
to just blush utterly. Watch that music video. Um, I felt nothing for Zayn until I watched that video and now, <sighs> let's go. <laughs> And on that note, I'm gonna head home. Um, the sun has set and I will see you in a few days and we're gonna do some winter activities. Have fun, okay, see you then. <laughs> Sunday the 12th, the 13th, the 12th, um, and we woke up to our first snow of the season. So it was supposed to be like a 30% chance of a like one hour window of snow at 3 a.m. And then we woke up and the city is covered and it is still snowing. Um, it's beautiful. It's probably not gonna last super. Actually, you know what? It's supposed to be really cold for the next couple of days. So maybe it will last, but it's just, really pretty i love when it sticks to the to the branches like this just this little lining reminds me of all the books i read as a kid that told me what winter is supposed to look like but anyway i wasn't planning on filming today but i figured if we are summoning up winter um i should at least show you the snow as long as it's here so i hope you enjoy and i'm certain we will have more snow days that i can show you more properly i'm just on my roof um but oh so pretty, what a nice thing to wake up to. Okay, let's look around. So our final activity is something that ironically I did last summer. We are making some yuja cha with, well technically it's lemon, but because it's winter we're going to add in some ginger up in here because it is cold season and we're going to kick that out of the park. I don't have the cutting board that I need. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got what I needed. If you don't know, in Korea there are a bunch of teas that are basically like jam and then you just add hot water like you scoop in a couple scoops to your cup and then you add hot water and it becomes this really nice fruity tea all you need is sugar mainly and then the fruit literally the ingredients of your choice so the most normal one is yuja which is like a i think they say citron in english you can also use lemon if you watched my juwangsan hiking video, I had tangerine, um, I've seen lime, and then you can also do a mix, like you can do lemon honey, lemon honey, ginger, lemon ginger, etc. So yeah, we're gonna make lemon ginger. What I have done so far is I have washed the lemon, and then you actually wanna scrub your lemon with salt um, to basically like exfoliate it, to get that kind of waxy stuff off, because we are gonna leave most of the peel in the tea. All you need to do is cut them up, figure out what ratio of stuff you want, and that's all. So that's what we're gonna do. And while we do that, I just wanted to chat. I feel like um, the Christmas spirit has really, like it's, it's the time where it should be hitting soul and it's just not the same because right now we are 
setting some records as far as um, the amount of people who are getting sick. We're not on level three, but mentally, like if you can be on level three, you should be. So all I've been doing is taking morning walks. And then um, today I just broke down. I was, first of all, so cold today. I usually try and walk before anyone even starts heading to work. So like seven. And by the time I'm done with my walk, that's when it kind of starts to get busy, but I'm already on my way home. When I woke up, it was negative nine. So I stayed in bed and then I waited until like 11 to go on my walk and it was still so, so cold. So I ended up cutting my walk in half and I went to my coffee shop that I go to all the time. And oh, so you can't sit in it, it's takeout only currently, but they still decorated inside. And when I walked in, they were just playing the best Christmas music. Like it was so cozy, so jolly, so warm. And I just, that's where I am the most inspired. Like that's my little work spot. I have written so many things there. I have read so many things there. Um, it's just my spot, you know? And so the, the fact that I couldn't sit there, like soaking in that Christmas feeling. <sighs> if any of you guys are feeling super bummed, which I'm sure we all are, for various reasons I just want to commiserate with you I don't have any like let's let's look on the bright side no it sucks <laughs> so just wanted to say I'm here with you I hope that you guys at least are able to see some loved ones or something like that as safely as possible but one thing though if you are feeling lonely I don't know if I said this I know I talked about it on Instagram but I watched Klaus on Netflix which I had like never heard of it apparently everybody knows that it's a great movie if you are looking for a feel good Christmas film, full warning, you're gonna be crying, but it's a good cry. It's great. It's the banter is so funny. I didn't think so. I thought it was more of a kid's movie, but honestly, like the wittiness of it, it felt kind of similar to the the humor in emperor's new groove how it's like so fast it's like that except christmas themed so if you're just looking for something fun to watch i recommend klaus also speaking of getting in the christmas spirit i put up christmas lights or fairy lights but it's very funny because as you can see these are just like white a warm yellow we have the phillips hue lights so hey turn all the lights to red please okay red. okay it so it doesn't look like it now but if it was nighttime so the whole room was red these just because of how your eyes work um they look green which is weird and I mean, there's a scientific explanation for it, but I would just like to say that it's magical. Okay, I'm gonna focus on finishing this lemon. Next on the list, the ginger. This is where you kind of have to just eyeball it. Some people really like a lot of ginger, some people don't. I'm kind of in between. For example, that tangerine ginger tea that I had, it was good, but sort of burned my throat after a while. So you have to be really, really careful with your ginger tolerance. I don't know if you guys get this, but during winter, for some reason, I just wake up with a cold, like a raw throat. And I find that if I make this in the morning, um, just really, really hot, kind of burn your esophagus a little bit, that really helps. I'm also just a huge fan of like healthy drinks. Like, do you have anything that like your great grandmother swore by or something? Um, let me know if there's like some kind of secret tea in your family that I could attempt to make. I would love to. My mom always made me drink echinacea mixed with I think just water and a little bit of sugar to make it allegedly taste like lemonade. It didn't. And I think we found out that echinacea doesn't do a whole lot. So I was just suffering as a child for fun. Maybe echinacea does do something, I don't know. But I just remember having to down that stuff and it not being 
my favorite thing. So even if it tastes disgusting to you, let me know what is your like family's cold remedy. And now we mix. I also bought myself proper measuring cups and they all fit together. It's very cute, I'm very happy. So you don't need to hit a specific amount um, for your lemons, but those are kind of what bases the rest of the ingredients as far as the ratioing goes. Two cups ish. In. So I've seen some recipes that say that you should layer kind of like that sand art if you ever made that as a kid. Some people claim that you should do that with the tea. Put a little sugar in and then put the lemon mixture and then put a little more sugar and then put more lemon mixture into your jar. But the way that I normally do it and the way that I've seen a lot of other people do it is just mix it all together. Doesn't really matter. It's all gonna kind of liquefy in the jar anyway so it just kind of depends on what you feel like doing so we did two cups of lemons <laughs> i'm gonna do one cup of sugar actually let's just mix it first with a half cup and see hold on my camera's dying bye well i have my other camera here trying to get what's going on down here i guess we forgot to uh, press record for actually putting the sugar in there. So this is what we're dealing with right now. You can see it now that I'm recording. A bowl full of sugar. So I'm actually gonna mix the one half cup, half cup, why, am I, why can't I speak? The half cup first, um, just to see how sugary this looks. And we might actually just use a little bit less sugar. Let's see. This actually looks pretty good as is right now. I'm gonna go put it in the jar and let's see how we feel, hold on. Voila, so this was actually an old lemon chong, lemon chong jar, but we're gonna repurpose it. I sterilized it, I just like boiled it basically. This is what it looks like. A lot of the juices kind of settle in the bottom, so you need to stir it before you open it. But I'm gonna set this in the fridge for a little bit just to soak up, let everything mix together. And then let's have some tea. Last step. Mmm, so good. So where was, oh, it was Starbucks. Starbucks actually for their winter menu, um, they're doing a Yuja mint tea. And for some reason I never thought of that before, like combining one of these like jam based teas with another kind of herbal tea. So this time I have been growing, I have a peppermint plant and um, so I just put a sprig of my peppermint in there and it tastes really good. It just adds another layer of flavor in there. Um, so thank you Starbucks for charging me like seven dollars to try it and now I can make it myself. <laughs> Lovely, perfect for a winter morning. You've got your vitamin C, You've got your ginger, you've got just hot liquid, and because it's more of a jam, it's really good for kind of coating your throat. You can also throw a little bit of honey in here if you want to, um, whatever kind of honey alternative you like to use. Um, yeah, it's just, it's great for cold weather. Thank you for joining me. I think um, whenever Kurt, it's five o'clock, 
Um, last time I went to go pick up Kurt at work just to get me out of the house, um, I saw someone selling pungobang which is like an ultimate excellent winter snack. So I'm gonna hopefully get some of that um, tonight, but if not, I'll end the vlog here. If you see a lot of extra time at the end, it means that we got bungabung. So I'm really excited for my future self. But if not, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Um, that snow was really unexpected. Now we just have endless days of negative degree weather and at least the air quality is great. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna be kind of taking walks, honestly. Um, future content uh, for the time being is gonna be taking place here, <laughs> a lot of it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys, I have questions that you sent in for a Q and A, so I'm going to work on that. Um, but if you guys have anything you want to see me do in this home, let me know. We can make some more things, you know, as always, if you do make this tag me, I love seeing you guys make everything that I make better so many of you made that dill sauce with the roasted sweet potato and everyone's looked better than mine and i'm really proud of you guys <laughs> making me look bad though so chill out but i'm also very proud so yeah i will catch you guys next time thank you as always um stay safe in your summer and your winter and i'm gonna drink my tea before it gets really cold so